Hey everybody, uh, it's Mr. Bullock here and this is a review for your test on uh, Unit 2, it's the second one. So we're going to have one more review unit on this. So uh, here's the first part, a car is going 40 miles per hour, generate a T-chart and write an equation. Okay, so there's a T-chart and I've inserted that at the times 1 hour, 5 hour and 6.5 hour. So remember distance equals rate times time or I call them dirt problems, distance equals rate times time. Okay, so we're going to use this formula right there and uh, the rate is 40 miles per hour okay so if I plugged in uh, one hour right here so 40 times one after one hour you go 40 miles okay and then after five hours well 40 times five is, is 200 alright 6.5 okay when I do 6.5 I'm gonna treat 6.5 as 6 plus 0.5 so I can distribute 6 40 times um, uh, 6 is 240 and 40 times 0.5 is the same as half of uh, 40, which is 20. So 240 plus 20 is going to be 260 right there. Okay, so there's a T chart. Now it says write an equation. So my equation is going to be D equals 40T. Okay, all right. So uh, when we think of D equals 40T, we're going to go ahead and graph this guy. So think of uh, uh, Y equals 40X, which is like 40X plus 0. So if I graph the plus 0, and since this is up 40 over 1, I made this a scale of 10 and this a scale of 1. So from here, I'm going to go up 40 over one right there and put a point right there and then connect those lines up right there there it is right there okay and then uh, this part says uh, graph the point uh, that's two hours and use your point to see how many miles you would go so two hours would be right here so if I graph that and go straight up right here it's gonna be right about there so I'm gonna have to extend this line and figure it's gonna go up about so there's there it is right there I went up straight up at two and then straight over and it looks like it's about 80 and it would be 80 if we put in 40 times 2 it would be 80 right there okay alright uh, so let's graph this equation right here let's go ahead and plug those points in right there so I'm gonna do one-third of zero one-third of zero is zero and then uh, I get uh, 0 plus 2y equals 1. So uh, I get y equals 1 half right there. Okay, now we're going to plug in 3. All right, so when I plug in 3 right here, then 1 third times 3 is this 1 right here. So 1 plus 2y equals 1. Then we're going to subtract 1 from both sides and get 0. Okay, so you get 2y equals 0. So y equals 0. So I graphed 3, 0. So here's uh, 3, 0. Oops, I forgot. Here's 0, 1 point, or 0 0.5 right there. Then plug in negative 3. When I plug in negative 3, uh, 1 third times negative 3 is negative 1. So you add 1 to both sides and I get 2 over there. So 2y equals 2. So y equals 1. So we're going to graph negative 3. So to the left, 3, up 1. And it should lie on a nice straight line right there. Okay. So there it is right there. All right, now let's take that equation and multiply that equation that we just did by 3 and rewrite the equation and graph. Okay, so there it is multiplied by 3. We distributed the 3 through 3 times this, 3 times this, 3 times this. So here the 3's cancel. I'm left with 1x. 3 times 2y is 6y, and then 3 times 1 is that. Now I'm going to use those same points. Uh, 0, 3, and negative 3. So when I plug in x equals 0 right here, um, I'm going to get uh, 0 plus 6y equals 3, and 6 goes into 3.5 times, okay? And you get the same points right here because it's going to be the same line. When you multiply an equation by a constant number, we get the same line, you guys, okay? So it's going to ask you, what did you notice about the graphs in, in those last two sections right here? Well, they're the same except... Um, Whoops, I got these letters wrong here, except except uh, uh, equation and equation E right here. Sorry, let me do that. Equation E goes right here. And, oh golly, sorry for this delay here. And this should be equation F right there, okay? All right, or D, I'm sorry. So equation E is three times equation D, okay? So they're the same graph, except this graph is three times this graph right here. See, if I multiply that times three times three times three, there it is right there. And you get the same graph, okay? All right, so uh, now let's graph this guy, okay? Well, first we're going to graph um, uh, the, the intercept right here, negative 1, which is that one, and then use this slope, up 2 to the right 3. So up 2 to the right 3. So then we're going to go ahead and connect them up, and there we go, okay? All right, my air conditioner is cooking on, or turning on, so um, uh, it's a hot 90-degree day. 
And uh, anyway, so you might not hear me as well. Okay, let's graph this guy right here. Now, if you'll notice, you guys, these guys uh, are opposite reciprocals. Do you remember what happens when we have opposite reciprocals right here? So I'm going to go ahead and graph this plus 3 first, and then I'm going to go down 3 to the right 2. Okay, the slope is down 3 to the right 2. So here's this plus 3 right there, and then you go down 1, 2, 3, to the right one two so this guy is, is from the slope and then connect those two guys right there okay and then what do we notice about those two guys well they are right angles okay so those uh, make right angles and the right angles are shown by uh, a red box right there whoops I don't know why I didn't have that red box right there shown by that right red box right there okay so this next piece says lines that are parallel have equal slopes and lines that are perpendicular have opposite reciprocal slopes, okay? So this slope is two-thirds, this slope is an opposite, which is this is negative, this one's positive, and it's a reciprocal, three halves, okay? Opposite reciprocals. All right, so write an equation of the line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the given line. Okay, so here's that. So it says it's parallel, so I'm going to use the exact same slope because they're equal. And then we're going to just substitute this in for x right here and this in for y right here and solve for b, okay? So here we go. Uh, and then we're going to add 9 to both sides. We get b equals 4 and then just throw b back up right up here. So the equation, the answer is going to be y equals 3x plus 4. Let's try one in standard form, okay? Number 2. Alright, so um, the slope on this one here, you guys, remember the slope is opposite a over b, okay? Remember when it's in this form, ax plus by equals c, the slope is opposite this number, so it's going to be uh, negative 2, and then it's over this number, negative 5, so negative over negative is a positive 2 fifths. So we're going to have the same setup, 2x minus, or minus 5y equals c. We just got to figure out what c is, and we figure that out by plugging in the ordered pair up there. 5 for x and, and 1 for y. So 5 is going to go right here, and 1 is going to go right there, okay? So there we go. I'm going to substitute those in, and I get c equal to 5 right there. So the final answer is going to be 2x minus 5y equals 5, okay? Now if you wanted to solve for x or for y, y equals mx plus b, that will work too. Just get a different looking answer. It's the same line actually. So um, this one says write an equation of the line that passes through this point but it's perpendicular. So perpendicular means it's going to be an opposite reciprocal, okay? So the slope of this line is 2. So a perpendicular slope is to flip it and change the sign. It's going to be uh, negative 1 half. So we're going to go y equals negative 1 half x plus b. Substitute in that point up there, okay? So that's x, that's y, so that's what I have right here. There's my y, there's my x right there. And then 1 half times 4 is 2, except it's negative for that one right there. Okay, so uh, then we're going to go ahead and do plus 2 plus 2 to get rid of that negative 2. Okay, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and then that goes right up there. And then so there's the answer right there. Okay? All right, almost done. So this one, let's try it with this one here. Okay, so here i got to go ahead and um, uh, there's the slope right there. Okay, so the slope for this line is opposite A over B. So a perpendicular slope, you guys, is going to be negative 4. Okay, so my negative 4, I mean, you could solve for Y if you want. You're still going to get Y equals 1 fourth X plus, uh, um, uh, what is it, negative 7 fourths, I think, you guys. But, or you can just recognize, here's the slope, opposite this number over this number right here. Okay, so uh, positive 1 over 4. Okay, so a perpendicular slope is to flip this and change the sign. So now I know it's going to be y equals negative 4x plus b. That's the hard part right there. And then substitute the point in, and then you get b equals 19. And so there's your final answer, okay? I hope that helps you guys. Take care.